Alright guys, Tamikaze here. Today I'm going to be making a video on support and resistance lines and trying to make it as easy as possible. So there's no right way or wrong way to chart. Um, the basic idea behind it is you're trying to find connection points that line up and create a trend. So you're finding trend lines that you have support. So we could draw one, say right here. So you have support. We're going to do a green one here. Because I'm going to show you why in a second. So you got support here. You're connecting a bunch of dots here. And you can see, I'll point this out when I'm down here. You can see 1 point, 2 point, 3 point, 4 point, 5 point. And then you have, so these were supports here and became resistance over here. So it's actually even more encompassing that you have all of these either bounce lines or bounce down lines. And so you could tell this is a very strong trend line. So I always start. Um, as wide as possible. I got a month out here and then after I find what I'm looking for I will go in further. So let's just do a couple more here. So you're either going to use the wicks of the candle or the base. You don't typically use both. It's either one or the other. So I'm just going to draw this out a little bit make sure I got these lines up right. So this was our channel that we've been trading in, in the last five years. So let's zoom this in. We can check out a week, see if we got any extra lines we need to draw. Um, you can kind of see here, we got a cup foreman, and you got your handle here. So let's draw another line here to see if this cup works out. So we're going to go red for our support line. So typically a cup will retrace with a handle about 33 percent down or you'll usually see the first big peak will match the second peak and then you get bounce off of it so we got a confirmed cup and handle here and then a bounce here so i'm only going to draw that one there um, you can look for some more usually you want a minimum of three points to have a good trend line but we're interested more in the short term so i'm just trying to show some simple long-term lines so then i go to day after so i go month week day and i'm just trying to find macro lines and then f try to find the micro lines so you can see here probably had a trend line here so let's draw that out with a red line yep looks like we got four points there a solid line uh, and then we got a breakdown with that giant drop there last week this actually looks like a channel so let's draw the buy line on the top for channel breakout i'm doing the slab i've never actually i'm doing gold because uh Warren Buffett bought a bunch in quarter two, and I've never charted the actual gold ticker. I always use the ETFs, GLD or GDX. So this is my first time doing it live. I had not looked at this previously. So we have the channel here. I switched to hour now to get a little bit more. It looks like we got another channel going in here. Um, we could draw a support line here. Looks like we got at least three, three points right here that line up. And here's another thing you can do that's really cool. So we got this line here. You can actually clone it and see if it creates a channel by moving this clone line. Come on, clone line. Up there. So you can see it connects those two green wick tips there. So it looks like we have a channel started here. So let's zoom in further. Let's go to 30 minutes, see if anything else stands out. Nothing's standing out. Let's go to 15 minutes. Um, this channel looks pretty solid, actually. Uh, you can see we kind of have a downtrend here that got broken with a new uptrend. So let's zoom in even further. And this is where we're starting to get into day trading lines right here. Everything else is a macro line. And this would be where you'd pick your entry and exit. So let's, this would be of a buy line that I'd do. So I'd do a buy line down. It's actually a fantastic buy line. So you have a triple point here, trend line, with a breakout and then a test of the trend line and bounce off so this is a, a giant buy signal right here um, and this is just real simple how i draw from start to finish my my support and resistant lines and then how i add my buy lines in at the end i hope this helps um, i can go more in depth later but i hope this kind of gives you a start point on my thinking behind drawing support and resistant lines 